Helen E here with Eyes on the Game. I'm here at Lotus Broadcasting, or kind of, right? I mean, it looks like we're on a tropical island somewhere. Uh, here being joined by the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, the man of the hour, Mr. Leonard Ellerby. It was great seeing you yesterday at Mayweather Boxing Club. Now today, like I said, basically on a tropical island. I love this setup. This is pretty cool. Like I said, you should do a, a show regularly right from here. Oh, well, thank you. And now that you say that, I, I'm more probably inclined to now. And, and I'm sure the viewers kind of like uh, the change in scenery. But I know it's a very busy, not only a um, week for you because you are leaving to head to Floyd's fight soon, um, but busy few months, a lot of announcements made and even yesterday. So I do have a lot to talk to you about. But first off, speaking of Floyd's fights, though, will we ever see him come back? I know the last time against Connor that did very well though you know so I mean even though people kind of questioned well I mean the super fight but a lot of people watched and numbers don't lie so yeah, it was a tremendous event um and it was a it was it was a a a a great event just to sum everything up it was a a great great event you know everybody had a good time it was yeah. um we had a great time working with the UFC um, Dana and um, Connor, they were great to work with. Um, everything was great. Could we maybe see that happen again with Habib? I, I know there were some talks on social media or rumors. Well, Khabib called Floyd out, and I'll just leave it at that. Would Floyd want that? I'll just leave <laughs> it at that. <laughs> yeah, and were there any talks about a rematch between Connor and Floyd? No, no, there have been no talks about anything. Okay, but do you think that Habib would do better than Connor against Floyd? I don't know. I mean, you you that's a question you would have to ask um, Dana in the yeah. UFC. But would you like to see that happen? I'm all about taking care of the business, and um, it's all it's all about whatever the fighters and the fans want. Yes. Well, let's see, you know, they would want that. I'm sure they would. Um, but speaking of business, a lot of big fights coming up. January 19th, Adrian Broner, Manny Pacquiao. Can you kind of, you know, talk about that fight? Oh, it's a, a great event. Um, we're very excited about it. It's 19th January. Um, what can you say about Manny Pacquiao? You know, he's um, currently a senator. Um a future Hall of Famer. He's had a, a phenomenal career thus far, um, and, and he's he's looking on to take another um, another challenge and um, fighting Adrian Broner. Um, Adrian, um, he's had a few setbacks in his career, um, but he's looking to um, put everything behind him and be a future Hall of Famer in Manny Pacquiao. It's going to be a great event, and um, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, and for that, how do you think that Adrian has done, you know, and mentally, like, just been recently leading up to this fight? Well, I, um, all signs and everything coming from him, um, he, he's in tremendous shape already. Yeah. Um, he's he's locked in, he's focused, um, and he's currently right now in the best shape that he said that he's been in in quite some time. So he's extremely motivated because I think – a big part of his motivation is that when people doubt him, you know, um, he's he's a young man that he has. He has all the the, the God-gifted ability, talent. He's got the speed, the power. You know, he's just got to be locked in and and concentrate and and give it his all. And he know he knows what he got to do. He knows what he got to do. And um, and I think he's looking to prove all the the naysayers and critics wrong on. 19 January. I think it's going to be a, a tremendous fight. I think it's a, an extremely competitive fight, and um, I'm just excited. And what about Manny, though? What do you think, you know, his career? And obviously he had that fight against Floyd, but um, where he's at now in his career? Well, obviously, you know, we're not. he's not the same Manny Pacquiao of 2009, 2011. You know, he's a little older, but he's still one of the top fighters in the world. Yeah. Currently, right now, he's one of the top fighters at 147 right now. Mm -hmm. um, and he's a guy that everybody knows what he brings to the table. He's a relentless worker. Um, he's a guy that's 
always focused. Um, he comes always in great shape. He he brings a tremendous amount of experience, and and you know what you're gonna get when you when you're fighting Manny Pacquiao. You're gonna get his best every time out, and you know Agent Brown has to be prepared for that. And I think that he's getting in the best shape of his life, and you know mentally, physically, he knows what he's up against. I'm mm -hmm. um, taking on again. It's a tremendous challenge. It's a tremendous fight for both guys. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. And not only that fight, but even in the co-main event, the co-feature, uh, Badu Jack. Uh, what about him and, and for the title? Oh, yeah, Badu, Badu Jack. Um, he's, again, you can't say enough great things about Badu Jack. I mean, he's, um, he's a great fighter in the ring, and he's a great humanitarian outside of the ring. You know, we're really proud of him and his all of his accomplishments, accomplishments, but mostly the stuff that he's doing outside of the ring. Mm -hmm. That you know how he's um, using his platform, mm -hmm. you know, as a fighter to be able to help kids in in all these different countries. You know, it's a tremendous thing. You know what he's do, he's able to do and how he's affecting so many people. I mean, we're really so proud of him. And that fight is here in Las Vegas, the fight capital. So for the fans, I mean, are tickets still on sale? Where where can they get that? Oh, you can get tickets at access.com. Um, again, this it's going to be a tremendous event. It's going to be a, a, a star-studded event. And it, and the fans are going to get a great fight. Again, and we got Badu Jack taking on Marcus Brown and the, and the co-main. That right there is a main event within itself. You know, two um, two guys who who really want to prove to the world that they're the best light heavyweights that are out there. You know, so it's it's a great night of boxing here in Las Vegas at the MGM, um, I'm, and I'm really I, I'm just personally excited. You know, um, look forward to another big Mayweather Promotions event. Yes, and to, in a way, kind of kick off the new year, right? Like you said, January 19th. Then in February, uh, Gervonta Davis, Tank Davis, he's back fighting Abner. So can you talk talk about his fight? Yeah, I'm really excited to um, get a chance to work with TGB and, and, and Richard Schaefer again. Um, it's going to be a, a great promotion. Um I'm just excited that we were able to finally get the date, not the date, but the venue squared away, mm -hmm. you know, because it was an issue with finding finding a, a good venue yeah. there. But, you know, we got a a, a great, great venue, um, StubHub, formerly, they, formerly the StubHub, they have a new name, and I don't even want to get into the name of it. But um, When are they... They already changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's the stuff up. Yeah. It's the stuff up in Carson, California. Yeah. And um, so we're really excited. That's going to be a great, great fight. The fans in L.A., they, they, um, they're they really excited that we're bringing the fight there. Yeah. And um, tickets go on sale actually this weekend. Mm -hmm. And they start as low as $30. And, and um, ringside seats are going to be $250. Okay. So we expect a, a, a quick sellout. There, um, it's a great venue, um, and two great fighters, you know, coming together. Um, Abner Morris, you can't say enough great things about him. He's a great warrior. Um, Tank Davis is his coming out party, mm -hmm. you know, on Showtime. You know, he's looking to put on a great performance. I um, mean, we're just excited. Yeah, yeah, and defending his title, right? Yes, he, um, Tank will be defending his um, WBA 130 pound title, yeah. and um. Again, that's going to be a great fight. You know, Abner brings a lot of experience to the table. And it's a dangerous fight for um, Javante, but Javante, uh, he welcomes the challenge. Mm -hmm. And, again, it's going to be a great fight. Yes, and a lot of people are looking forward to that as well. But I do know in the past, I mean, there were some talks, you know, would he ever fight Lomachenko? Uh, you're smiling. You know, I'm sure you've heard of those talks as well. What do you think of that? I don't think about it. Um, they're in two different weight classes. Yeah. Tank is willing to fight anybody we put in front of him. That's yeah. all I got to say about that. But what do you think of Lomachenko and him being, you know, one of the top pound for pound along with Terrence Crawford? Oh, I think they both are tremendous fighters. Uh, both guys, I, I respect their high IQ of the game. They both bring a lot to the table. Tremendous fighters, both of them. Yeah. Um, I personally think that Terrence 
Crawford is, you know, the best, number one, that's out there. Um, Lomachenko, there's not enough accolades that can describe him. You know, tremendous amateur, has a, a great pro career thus far. Um, he's making big things happen. Yeah. And who would you like to see Terrence Crawford fight? I know a lot of people are kind of aiming for him, Errol Spence. What do you think? I really don't have an opinion on that. You know, it's a, it's a good fight. Um, I really don't have an opinion. Yeah. You know, um, I'm really close with Earl. Um, you know, Earl's he's he's a beast. Yeah. You know, Terrence is a is a tremendous fighter. It's a great matchup. Yeah. And Errol does have that fight coming up. Mikey Garcia, speaking of kind of different weight classes. I mean, what were your thoughts when, you know, that fight first got made or announced and Mikey kind of moving up? Well, that's what boxing all is all about, is um taking risks, taking challenges and, and you know, thinking big and outside the box and that's what Mikey Garcia is all about, you know, he, he, he wants to do the unthinkable. Yeah. He wants to take on the challenges that no one else is willing to do, and, and that's what he's doing. He's taking on Errol Spence, and Errol, everybody know what Errol brings to the table. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's going to be a, a great fight. Um, do you think it'll be pretty competitive? Despite um, kind of the size difference? The first, the first few rounds will probably be competitive. But Earl's just too big, too strong, too everything, yeah. you know, the, the, the latter part of the fight. And that's mm -hmm. when I think that, you know, he stops him. Yeah. And but speaking of competitive fights, one that just happened, uh, slightly controversial, Wilder and Fury. How did you score the fight? Um, I had Fury winning. Um, you know, it was a it was a good fight. Yeah. Um, but I had Fury winning. Um, I was rooting for rooting for Wilder, but I had Fury winning, and, you know, yeah. The knockdown. Did you think that count was long, though, or longer than normal, like some people are saying? No, no, I really didn't get what they were saying. It wasn't long. The referee, in my eyes, he did a phenomenal job. Um, Jack Reese, um, he's a tremendous uh, referee, and he did a phenomenal yeah. job, you know. Um, there were some people that, you know, that was kind of a few excuses that kind of went around, but... Yeah. In my eyes, you know, I wouldn't mind none of that. Yeah. You know, it was it was a tremendous fight. It, it was, was great excitement. It was nice to see the heavyweights go at it like that. Yeah. You know, it was great for the sport. And that's, you know, yeah. that's what it's all about. And who do you think would take the rematch? Fury, in my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. No, he did do really good. And, I mean, for him to kind of come back from all that adversity as well, you know. Yeah, um, um, yes, he, he did. And both guys had a tremendous amount of confidence. And and, and um, it'll be a great matchup. You know, um, it's exciting for boxing. And I hope they can make it. And, and I hope they they break records. And, and, you know, that's what it's all about. Yeah, and do you think uh, that right now, though, Anthony Joshua is really the best heavyweight in your eyes? Well, I mean, he's the guy with all the belts, yeah. so he's the best. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but do you think, you know, if he fought Wilder or Fury that he would beat them? I don't know. That's why they make the fights. And, and you know, as a fan, that's those are the fights you want to see. And, and you know, uh, hopefully the promoters can come together and make it happen. That's what it's all about. Yeah, well, no doubt those fights will be good. But your guys' fights will be great and like you said i mean we spoke kind of about the fights in january february with gervonta's return um what about the rest of the year is there anything else you can kind of let the fans know regarding the schedule oh yeah we're going to be extremely busy i think within the first five months we have maybe 10 dates Already? yeah yeah so you know between our monthly shows we do here in las vegas and some of the other major shows that we haven't announced yet that we're going to be doing um, in, in our own shows. You know, we're going to be quite busy. It's exciting times for the company. Yeah. You know, it gives us an opportunity to um, promote these great events. And that's what it's all about. Yes. Um, and they can, the fans, they can go to MayweatherPromotions.com? MayweatherPromotions.com. 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Like I said, you're so busy. So I appreciate you coming down here, you know, next to <laughs> this scenery and uh, congratulations on your continued success. Thank you. And thank you for having me on. It's always nice to see you.